welcome back guys so in our last chapter uh, we have discussed about uh, how we will download the tosca automation tool and uh, what are the prerequisites required to get the license and uh, after that how to download the tosca automation tool in our system so as we have already done it let's start with creating our first workspace so uh, before we will create our first workspace there are few things which we need to discuss and we need to understand so if we will discuss about the workspace if you will see this particular page which which is coming on the screen this is the dashboard which is present as a first navigation page whenever we will open our tosca commander so there are two option open and create new so for a first time when we will be dealing with this we need to click on create new so before that let's discuss what we will do in this particular chapter so the first thing we will discuss is how the setup will be work working like how we will do the setup the second is uh, selecting the correct type of repository and the third is import and export artifacts using tosca workspace okay or tosca subsets so okay so these are three points we will be dealing in this particular chapter so let's start with our uh, four fundamental questions like what where how and why so if we talk about these four points like what where how and why so what it, what it is is what is like what type of workspace can be created in tosca that is the first point and the second is where where uh, within tosca uh, uh, we will create that particular workspace and how means how we will go with that like how we will proceed what are the options we will choose what will be the attributes and why means why should you choose a specific type of workspace and not the other type of workspace so these are the four points or the uh, uh, questions we should ask ourselves so let's begin with that so <clears throat> uh, when we ask what is like uh, what type of workspace can be created in tosca is there are two types okay and this this is based on the types of repository we will be using there are two types one is a uh, single user repository and another is multi user repository so single user repository uh, is something um, which uh, which will be for you can say a training purpose or for a workstation which belongs to only one person but in real time we will be using multi user repository for multi uh, uh, for a workspace where uh, uh, more than one people are working like our project or any other environment but as of now we will be going through a training we will go with uh, a single uh, user repository so that is the question of what and uh, where so where within tosca can you create a new space so this is the page particular page where from where we will click on create now and we will see the tosca commander has open the pop up with create new workspace and the third is how so let's start with how how we will do that so if you will see as i have discussed what so as we are going through training we will click on none none with creating a single user workspace so as of now we will go with none and the create new workspace in so i have already selected this particular path you can select as per your convenient and the third is let's begin with automation okay this is the my workspace name now use workspace template okay so we will select this so automatically the subset this template will also known as subset will come here okay but in case you want to use any other alternative subset you can click here and you can take it from the uh, particular path but 
once you will click on this use workspace template automatically this standard uh, subset template will come here which is already present in our uh, system when we were downloading our uh, Tosca commander okay so once these all thing will be done our question like how is completed and uh, the last is why so to answer that question uh, as we are going through uh, the training we will be using this particular type of workspace uh, attributes or this type of workspace uh, criteria we are dealing with but in real time we will be going through other type of repository or workspace or the subset which we will discuss in our further lecture so let's start with this, uh, this particular kind of uh, structure or skeleton for workspace and click on ok creating new workspace it is importing workspace template which we have selected and it got imported uh, by default and uh, uh, if you will see we are going with uh, these particular uh, uh, items and uh, these are the tabs with us modules requirement test case we will deal with uh, one by one and uh, uh, these are the kind of uh, structure of the workspace we have and this is our panels which we will discuss in our next lecture till then Thank you.